So I got this ZZ plant today from an online store and though it looked very good from outside, the soil was soaking wet and I decided to check the roots of this plant. And of course we have root rot. Those of you who don't know about this plant, this is a very popular house plant which is originally from Africa I guess and its full name is Zamia Kulkas Samifolia. It has these beautiful glossy leaves and it looks really pretty as a house plant. The best part is that you don't really need to do anything for this plant except watering once a month. It's extremely pest resistant and really low demands. And the worst part is that it is a super slow grower. Of course that can be a good thing too if you are using it as a decor piece and you don't want to change its placement frequently. So coming back to our issue here we have really bad root rot. For reference, this is how the roots of a healthy plant should look like. Like these beautiful water balloons. Really bad root rot and we are going to rescue it today. And let's start. I will just cut off these rhizomes until I see a completely healthy tissue. So by healthy tissue, I mean that visually it should be white without any brown spots whatsoever. There should be no odor at all when you try to smell it. And also do not be afraid to cut it way back even if it means that there are no roots left for the stem. So even this stem holds enough nutrients to push out a new root system. Remove anything that you find soft to touch like these mushy stuff that we see here. After you have done this with all the stems, use any fungicide powder to seal the cut tissue. I am applying trichoderma here to every part that I have exposed. This is going to prevent chances of rot since my place is really humid here. And apply this on every stem or rhizome where you have made a cut. Let us see together how to prepare the potting mix. I have taken approximately 40 parts of garden soil, almost 15 to 20 parts of compost mixed with cocoa peat, 20 parts of perlite. Note my garden soil is really sandy and it already has a very good drainage. Take more perlite if the garden soil in your area is not as sandy as mine. 2 tablespoons of any fungicide powder and some charcoal bits. This is completely optional. Charcoal bits just help in absorbing any excess moisture and it helps with fungal issues. I will mix these well and we have our potting mix ready. For pot size, Always remember to plant it in a pot that is only 1 to 2 inches bigger than the root ball of the plant. Too big of a pot will retain more moisture than the plant needs and it is again ground for root rot. Nursery pots are also very good for this plant because of the high drainage that they provide. And please note here that do not place this outdoors especially if it's raining in your area like it is in mines. And do not water this plant at all for at least two weeks. The exposed part should be dry until the wounds heal completely. It should develop small rhizomes with roots in about two to three months. And I will update how this plant performs in the coming days and we'll together see its root development after two months. Please do not forget to like and subscribe if you like more planty videos and also follow my Instagram handle linked in the i button. Bye for now.